What's up, plebs? I know most people are wondering, how are you calling as a pleb? You've only been playing this game for a week and a half. Listen, don't worry about that. Before I lay the smack down on your candy asses. Anyway, so I'm guessing you clicked on this video because you wanted to know what it's like to be a summoner. All right, well, I'm about to tell you what it's like to be a summoner. It's great. It's absolutely great. Now, there's pros and cons to this type of witchcraftery. You know what I mean? But it's okay. I'm going to cover everything now. So, as you see, you get to a map and you just start summoning your goons. All right? Because you figure that there's never going to be a fair fight in life. So, why not bring a whole damn army? You get what I mean? So when I scroll up in my favorite map, which this is my favorite map right here, the consistency, the consistency of the mob spawning is superb. You know what I mean? So I come in this map and I just start laying down skills. Now, most skills that you use on a class that's not a summoner. So my third class is like, uh, class that sucks people up with magnetic force magnetic force and then heavy gravity you know just to like you know make shit heavy you know what i mean when you want to scroll up in the area and just make shit heavy all right but those skills are just utility skills it's really no need for me to have that i can't wait to become a boker as well in a couple of days so that way i'm the triple summoner threat and i'll have even more pets at my disposal so let's talk about some of the pros and cons to being a summoner you may think that it's all sunshine and rainbows but it ain't that billy it ain't that all right first of all the mobs sometimes don't give a damn about your pets even if your pets are beaten up breaks off of a mob or a boss sometimes they run right past your mobs your 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 pets and just start beating the brakes off of you and it kind of sucks because it, the aggro system is kind of weird in this game it doesn't really your pet none of your pets have taunts or anything like that they don't taunt based on damage or anything like that so sometimes when you walk head first into a room you get targeted first and sometimes they're just like you know what we're just gonna beat the brakes off of this owner because we're smart mobs we don't give a damn about pets but then your pets come and they're just like make a move they're on master like you see my skeleton dudes they just pushed them back they were like oh get off of them because they're spartans and that's what i love about those little guys but when a patch comes we're not going to be able to have that many i mean like i can choose between them or my archers that just lay fire they're just like he's gonna touch master okay but being a summoner isn't all what you guys think it is it isn't all easy and stuff like that um all the summons have certain times that they can be out you know they expire they explode and some of the times it's so hard to see them amongst all this so as you can see right now it, it's really hard to tell what mobs are what summons are still up so then what happens is you start getting into this um routine where you just summon off of cooldown so as soon as these things are off cooldown, you're just going to keep resummoning, except for your sorcerer pet because you can see him, he's massive, and you know he's going to be around. Now on top of that, they also have their own health bars. Now you can't really see the health bars of the skeletons for some weird reason, but you can see it for the sorcerer one, and as you can see it's a long bar until I sacrifice him like this to summon another one. It's a short bar until it develops the stats of the first card. So boom, now it's extra strong because it just grabbed all the stats and these are my two favorite sorcerer summons I'll, I'll actually show you guys that but the cool thing is there's some there's some benefits too one of the benefits is we can deal with um mobs that continuously charge at you so in a map like this is one of my favorite maps just because of the mobs just like there's a never-ending spawn of mobs they just keep coming here and coming here and you can't really afk um realistically without cheating i would say using programs and stuff like that where I, I don't know any programs i'm just saying that the mobs disappear and at a certain point um your actual minions will stop attacking now and that means that you actually have to attack 
in order to get them to start attacking again because they'll sit there and let mobs actually kill them um so you can't really afk like people think you can now you can go on a mode where you just hold down a button on your controller and watch some netflix or something like that easy farming right especially in a map like this but let me actually summon out my other pet because i like him a little bit better he attacks a little bit faster and he just hits a little bit better range he's, he's a little bit more mechanically sound than some of the other monsters that you summon with sorcery right but don't let don't let this deter you being a sorcerer is dope being a summoner is dope in general i mean like i said uh, there's very few classes that can actually handle an onslaught of mobs like this without a break and the summoner is one that can actually do that with no problem so i'm going to come up here and see if i can actually so you can see they're spawning now and it may seem like I'm in trouble. And like I said earlier, some mobs don't care that your pets are there and your pets don't taunt them, but your pets will kill them fast. So that's that's your defense. But as you see, those mobs actually did damage to me when they spawned, but my pets killed them fast enough. You get what I mean? And the mobs don't really care who they attack. So th sometimes they'll attack you and they'll keep attacking you until you either die or your pets kill them. So they don't exactly like change who they're targeting just because a mob does more damage to them. But this big pet kind of like flinches them. So all my other wizards, cause I have another wizard that I'm bringing up. It's more focused on like AOE and actual casting and stuff like that. If he were to be out here, he would run out of spirit. He wouldn't have enough sustain or skills. His skills would go on cooldown before he killed everything out here. But the cool thing about summoners are, you see how they keep spawning and they keep running to this area. I can literally stay here and the experience is not bad. I just dinged and I'm already almost 4% into um, this level just sitting AFK here. And I don't mean like actual AFK, but you know what I mean? Just staying in this one spot, you can see mobs just keep coming in from all directions. And the summoners, have, the summons have no problem taking care of all these mobs. Now you just need to cast spells every once in a while to keep your pets attacking. And like I said, resummon because you have to resummon because the pets they'll stop attacking. They won't stop attacking um, if you attack or like permanently, but like they go into this chill mode where they won't touch anything unless you touch anything. But a lot of times I can't tell if some of my skeletons are up or down. You know, so I guess resummon them off a of cooldown. And it doesn't matter because I have unlimited SP because I don't really cast anything except for them, right? So this is the best thing about it. And as you see, this area slowed down a little bit. So I'll just go on to like the next area, which will probably be this area for a second. And then mobs should start careening in a little bit. Uh, if not, I can just start doing a rotation around the map. But every once in a while, it's nice because you can actually sit sit your character still, go grab something to drink or go to the bathroom, and your mobs will keep attacking until you get back from the bathroom, um, but they won't sit there and attack all day. And if you use any programs and stuff like that, whatever, that's, that's cheating, so. And I mean, you can hold down, I guess, your, your, your controller button or whatever while you're here watching Netflix, and that's okay because it's actually you actually doing stuff. But I know a lot of people think that a lot of pet people just afk um it's really hard to afk like i said no one can really be afk unless they're like using some type of program to make their pets keep attacking continuously because like i said they stop attacking now another good thing is when you're overweight you can just mount your mount you don't even have to worry about it and you can literally just keep running even past full speed obviously because you have your mount to actually you know carry you around so and that's really that's a really dope thing because you can still use skills on it while you're on it so actually if you want to be active but you don't want to use actual skills you can just use your summon so that my friend is elementary my dear watson but this is the life of a summoner. This is this is the pro and this is the worst thing. This is the cons. As you've seen, I just fucking teleport it. That's because every once in a while the UI of this summoner pet goes crazy and it forgets that you're on it and it tries to move. So what happens is it's moving without showing you on your screen, and then once it gets somewhere, it, it just teleports you. So there's been times when I've been like, say, here. And I would get teleported all the way over here somewhere 
and it's it's very weird it doesn't happen a lot i would say it probably happens once a day i would say that's probably the rarity of it it's not too big of a problem sometimes it's actually perfect because you're out here grinding and you run out of mobs and you're just like damn i gotta run all the way back to the other side or something and it just teleports you to some other place on the map and then you're just like oh sweet i have more mobs to kill now mind you this could be very annoying as well especially if you're in a, a a fucking um challenge mode and it teleports you through the fucking map and you're just like what the hell where am i that sucks that doesn't happen very often it only ever happened to me one time and i'm not quite sure how it fully happened as you can see now i it's hard to tell when your skeletons are up when you're moving they actually stack up so well that they're right on top of each other which could cause which could be another problem so sometimes that's why i just keep summoning them once they're off a of cooldown and don't worry about your necro fragments and stuff like that as a the best summoner i recommend is sorcery right now because you don't need any fragments or upkeep or something for them but i'm telling you once you become a necro the most the worst thing or whatever is supplying yourself with fragments from corpses right so you definitely need, let me see if I can actually show you here. Go Necromancer. There is, where is it? This right here. So Ray's did collect corpses. When a skeleton soldier defeats a minion, the um, necro, the Necromancer get, gains one corpse per attribute level. Well, it says Necronomicon or whatever, which is this thing. Um, it's, this is just where it sh houses all your fragments and stuff, but it just means like you get as a necro you get your fragments I have it chilling up here. I have 300 you can actually increase this But like I said you get this this talent right here And this kind of takes care of that because everything that your soldiers kill they give you a corpse, right? So then um, I you can have level up to level five So that's five corpse per kill that they get so you can actually go to a low-level area and stack up on this or go into a CM with some people or whatever and just instantly fill it in the first wave literally so as you can see now it looks like some of my pets have like died off or something so it's time to resummon again now this is the biggest annoyance I guess with people and um, wanting to play summoners is just the upkeep of your skeletons and things it's not too bad to be honest it's not too bad at all you just have to treat it as if you were casting on another character and you would be doing a lot more work on other characters rather than your summons now here's one of the biggest cons of this being a summoner class in general so your pets aren't immune to knockback there is a neck that you need as a summoner and this neck costs anywhere from 20 to 40 million and what it does is when it's equipped, it, it makes it so your pets can't be knocked back. So then you can actually, you know, solo content and actually have your pets train down bosses and stuff like that. Because the problem I'm having now is um, on raid bosses, I absolutely have zero damage. Um, and the main reason is because some of the bosses spam skills that continuously knock your character back and they just ragdoll your minions non-stop. And it takes about three seconds for your minions to recover just to get knocked down again. So this is a big problem with big mobs as well because some mobs in say like spell tome, they cast spells and some of those spells can stutter like slightly knock back your mobs and what happens is you just don't have any damage because if they're cc'ing your mobs your um pets then there's no way you can do damage right so once you get this neck oh man i've seen people with the neck or whatever do a crap load of damage uh, my friend as a summoner in my guild always gets number one on bosses and stuff like that and his gear actually is a little bit worse than mine his weapons but he does more damage because his pets will consistently stay on top of like big mobs, medium mobs, and bosses and stuff like that. So they're able to put out the maximum amount of DPS. So this video right here, I hope this video helped you guys. This video was just purely to tell you guys how I feel about the summoner. Um, once the rework and the patch comes out, I'm going to be obviously uh, making more videos talking about the build that I decide to go with my summoner and my other witches and wizards as well i don't know why i said witches whatever but my other wizard 
um it's more of aoe i'm gonna have three wizards pretty much so i'm i'm pretty much gonna be this channel is gonna be all about wizards for um tree of savior but if you don't like wizards and maybe you like archers or something like that i do have one archer it's gonna be a cannon air if you want some cannon air video and stuff like that um make sure to stick around and subscribe but mostly i'm gonna be covering majority of wizards so um please stay tuned and please subscribe or whatever if you want to see more um tree of savior content peace out this is king rock